Welcome to Stock Trick. This tutorial will walk you through what assignments are and how to actually start using them in your class. An assignment is a list of tasks that you can give your students to complete in their Stock Track portfolio. This can include three types of activities. Uh, the most basic is watching tutorial videos. These will walk your students through how to actually place trades on the site. They'll show the students what all the available research tools are and how to actually view and manage their portfolio. These are generally what we recommend for every single class. You can also require your students to rate, read certain educational articles. This can be something extremely basic, talking about what are stocks, to something a little bit more advanced, talking about different types of investment strategies. And finally, you can also have your students uh, make certain types of trades. This can be basic things like just make 10 trades this week, or it could be something a little bit more complicated, requiring your students to use different types of limit and stop orders. Uh, if you choose to have your students read any of the educational articles, on each of the articles has a short quiz at the end. You can either allow your students to take this quiz as many times as they want to to get all the questions right, or you can set the system to record their score for the first time they take it. Uh, if it records their score, it'll save their grade from the first time. They can try replacing it, but they can't update their grade in the gradebook. Um, each class can have multiple assignments. So if you have one class, uh, some professors like to have just one assignment lasting the entire duration of the class, basically with 10 or 20 different items for the students to complete. Other professors like to break the assignments up and give them to students week by week. Uh, since each assignment has its own start and due dates, you can create as many assignments as you like and just have them activate as soon as you think your students should be ready for them. Let's walk through how you actually create your assignments and view the reports available for them. To create or manage an assignment in your class, first log in into your professor account. Next, on the right side of the page, click Manage Assignments. This will take you to the Assignments Report card if you have an assignment, or it will take you to a blank page if you don't have an assignment yet. To create your first assignment, click Create New Assignment near the center of the page. This will show you all the tasks that you can assign to your class. The actual tasks that you have available might change a little bit depending on the type of class that you have. For example, personal finance classes will have a lot more personal finance related articles available, whereas normal investments classes will have fewer personal finance items but more career development items available. If your school has a stock track site license, your class will have all items available at any time. To create your assignment, first give it a name. For example, if you are planning to have different assignments for each week, you can list these as, for example, week one assignment. Next, choose the assignment start date and due date. The assignment will be available for your students to complete between these dates. You will always have access to the report cards, but for example, if you have students required to make a certain number of trades, any trades that they place after the due date will not count towards their assignment quota. Next, choose the items that you want your students to complete. We have these grouped together in certain categories based on how we normally see professors use these in their classes. For example, these first 10 items, which we call investing fundamentals, are generally a good place to start for every class. This asks students to read some basic articles about stocks, tickers, and getting quotes, but it also has them watch the basic tutorial videos of how to manage their portfolio, which walks them through all the different pages of the website, and the trading stocks tutorial video. The next 10 items down we call the intermediate investing tips. This is usually the second assignment that professors add for their class. This includes a little bit more advanced trading items, like trading ETFs and mutual funds and bonds, but it also walks students through using different types of orders. For example, our tutorial video of using limit buy and sell orders, stop orders, trailing stop orders, and order terms. The next items are the career development tasks. These are other articles, but instead of focusing on their portfolio itself, these focus on items in our career center, which is designed to help your students actually find jobs after graduation. Finally, you can choose what types of trades you want your students to do this week. For all the trading items, first select that you want them to do this type of trade and then say how many times they need to make this kind of trade this week. You can have general basic trades, which is just buying or selling stocks, bonds, and mutual funds. Or you can have them use different types of orders. 
and even do international trading, options trading, and even derivatives trading. Once you have the items you'd like to include in your assignment for this week, click Create Assignment. And once you have an assignment created, you can see that you have now a report card. The report card will show you all the students in your class, the last time they've logged in, and the completion that they have for this current assignment. Click Details to see the individual progress they've made for each of the assignments in the, in the class. If you have multiple assignments for this class, you can also swip, switch between them using the drop down at the top of this page. Once you've created your assignment, we can take a look at what this looks like from a student's perspective. You can see at the top of the student's account snapshot, it shows they have an assignment and they have not yet made any progress. They can actually view what the assignment is by going to the top of the main menu where it says Dashboard and clicking Stock Track Assignment. This will show them all the tasks that they're required to do, and they can switch between any active assignments that you have available. For all of the items for watching the videos and reading the articles with quizzes, they simply click the, the View button to pull up the article or video that they need to complete. At the end of each of the articles will be the quiz that they need to complete in order to get credit for having read this article. If you have any questions about using assignments, go back to your professor account and you can use the live chat button at the bottom of the page to get in touch with our team at any time.